Today we're making what I call veggie surprise meatballs. I'm going to use broccoli, spinach, carrots, green bell pepper, fresh garlic, onion, and I like to buy these roasted red peppers that come in uh, olive oil and garlic. And I'm going to be using ground turkey, but you can use ground beef or whatever protein mm -hmm. of your choosing. Once you have everything chopped up, you're going to add everything into a bowl and you're going to use the seasonings of your choice. I prefer salt, pepper, garlic powder, and onion powder. But again, you can use whichever you like. Mm -hmm. And also notice that I'm not going to be using any eggs or breadcrumbs for these. You won't need them. Trust me, once you get everything mixed together and rolled into balls, uh, they're going to start cooking and they will not fall apart. So you don't have to worry about that. Usually that is the purpose of the eggs and the breadcrumbs is to keep the meatball together. And the size meatballs I like to use, since these are for my toddlers, is about a, a teaspoon size. So I just use a teaspoon to measure those out. The next step is to cook the meatballs. You do not have to cook them on your stovetop. I like to do that when I'm making a sauce. You can also put them in the oven to bake, or you can even pop them in the air fryer. It's totally up to you. I'm just waiting for my avocado oil to warm up, and then I can start adding these to the skillet to cook. Make sure that you don't put them in a cold or cool skillet. You always want to make sure that the oil is up to temperature before you start cooking the meatballs. Another thing you want to make sure of is that you don't crowd the skillet. One of the things that I really like about these is that you can add any veggies you want to them. It's completely up to you. And you can use any protein you want to use. Um, the last time I made these, I used ground beef. And I don't think I used spinach last time. But it, it's so many ways you can make these. And they are so flavorful and they always turn out so juicy. And I think the best part is the kids can't even taste that there are vegetables in there. Here is our finished product, guys. And let me tell you, they turned out so flavorful, so juicy. Just look at it. Look at the juice in this meatball. You have to make these. Let me know if you make them and what you add to them. Enjoy.